What is up guys, it's your boy Swalam here, back again with another Wrath of the Lich King classic video. So today we're talking about gold making and how I've been making gold on the fresh servers. There's been several ways that I've been making gold, but I'm going to cover two of them in this video. So basically, a couple of weeks ago I uploaded a video about how you can turn nether weave cloth into bandages and literally make gold that way. So for example, if I go to the auction house right now, you can search up for nether weave cloth right here. And as long as you can find these for under 15 silver each, you can literally vendor, uh, vendor flip them into profit simply by crafting bandages. So anything under three gold is a profit. Three gold, uh, yeah, anything under three gold per stack is a profit. So 15 silver for every single nether weave. That's like anything under 15 silver is a profit and 15 silver per cloth is a break-even point. So right now, there's one up for 11.50. If I can find several at this price, I'm making almost one gold profit just by crafting two stacks into one stack of heavy nether weave. So this guy's probably trying to fish for some easy, easy flips right there. And if you scroll far enough down, you can see people are falling for it. People are putting it up for that price. Over here as well, you can see one stack here, 2.90 and 2.99 so right here you're making two silver profit by flipping into bandages so not really that much right now because everyone is doing it you have the same type of thing that happens with a rag veil as well which you can turn into a mad alchemist potion if they are selling under 32.5 silver per piece you have a bunch of these flips so these are the two most known ones i want to say and there's one more thing that i did myself while leveling and this is something i did back in classic wow literally back in classic wow when people were leveling because people find a lot of clams while leveling you're killing murlocs you're killing nagas and finding clams now one of the clams here is called a jaggle clam i don't know if you can sell the clam yeah you can you can sell the clam itself but the thing we're looking for is what you get when you open the clam which is called a jaggle pearl so people found lots of these while leveling and what people don't know is that you can purify these into a purified jaggle pearl selling for one gold literally a one gold vendor price and right now these are very overpriced because i'm buying them out everyone else is buying them out i'm buying all of them under one gold and back at the leveling process on the fresh servers i found these for 20 and 25 silver so i was making a bunch of raw gold profit right there now this one is almost impossible but it worked really well in the beginning Okay, so those are some vendor flips where you just literally buy something from the auction house and you sell it to a vendor for more gold. Now, what if we do this the other way around? So we buy something from the vendor and we sell it on the auction house for even more gold. That's going to be insane. So before I head into that and show you that method, I do want to thank you all so much for the support on the gold guide. The support has been amazing. The feedback has been even more amazing. I'm so happy that you guys are happy with this product. And if you want to check it out and you haven't already, the link is down below. You can get it for half price by using the code Solheim. We have a massive update coming this weekend to the guide as well, turning it into a one 110 pages per document for gold making and we have a discord server exclusive for guide holders so you can join that discord server as well when you purchase the guide and get access to even more gold making information once again thank you so much for checking it out the feedback really does mean, mean a lot to me and the support as well it really means a lot so thank you all so much for checking it out and if you haven't already once again the link is down below now let's go and check out some what do we call these we can't call them vendor flips Let's just call them auction house flips. Okay, so here we are. We're now in Storm Peaks on a completely different uh, character located right here at the Storm Spire. So there's one very essential feature that came out in Wrath. Well, there's two essential features that came out with the Wrath pre-patch that we are taking advantage of to make some very easy gold based on people being lazy. And people being lazy is always easy gold. So if you're looking to make easy gold, then find things that you know that you are doing just to save time or something. So for example, if you can buy something from a vendor, but you know the vendor is far away, so you go to the auction house instead, just find those ways and loop 
poles to make gold. So the two essential features here are the fact that you can now store your pets in a completely separate, separate pet tab, so they no longer take up useless bag space or bank space. They literally have a tab for themselves. So here we go, Siamese cat and also pebble. You can have these pets in their own tab, no longer taking up space. And also achievements. If you go to the general achievement tab, you can see there's a pet achievement right here for owning one pet. Everyone probably has this one. But you also get several achievements based on how many pets you have. So collectors and achievement hunters will want these pets just to, well, finish off, off what they're trying. A lot of people are currently trying to hunt for achievements. Stay Safe even has like a huge community for achievement hunting. So achievement hunting could be a massive thing in Wrath of the Lich King. So if you haven't been paying attention to anything regarding achievements and gold making just yet. Once again, I do cover a lot of that in my gold guide regarding reputations, the insane titles, stuff like that, titles and achievements. They are huge. So yeah, what I'm doing here though, and what I've been doing on both my fresh server and the old server ever since the pre-patch came out, is I'm literally buying pets from a vendor and selling them on the auction house. By doing this, I'm literally doubling my gold, in some cases 10 toppling, 10, 10 troubling, 10, 10 doubling. I have no idea, but I'm making 10 times profit. So let's check it out. Here we go. If you check, the more expensive they are, the less profit you will make percentage-wise, but you're making more gold per sale. So for example, the Mana Wormling, you can see costs me 38 gold at the vendor. The region market value average is 61.96, basically almost double. So right here, almost doubling your gold, but you're making like 20 four gold profit for every single sale and it has a 0 0.3 average sale rate if you go to the blue dragon hawk hatchling 0 0.6 sell rate so twice as high sell rate and you're basically tripling your gold you're paying 9.5 to this guy and the region market value average is 29 gold so basically three times as much the region sale average is 20 gold so doubling your gold between double and triple on these pets i'm making more profit on the fresh service because i don't think everyone knows about them over there so i've been making a heap of profit just by buying and reselling pets you can use this vendor right here there's one in stormwind selling cats you can literally buy cats from a vendor in Stormwind and go to the Ocean House and sell them for profit. It's so insane. So a red moth egg as well, 9 gold 50, once again 0 0.48 sale rate and also 29.99, so basically 30 gold region market value average. Basically, once again, three times your three times uh, profit. Same with the brown robin rabbit crate, 0 0.6 sell rate. So you get the point. You have crimson snakes though. Over here you have a bunch more profit range. You're basically getting five times profit but it's only two gold profit per sale and a 1.1 region average sale same with the cme's cat right here as well you're paying 57 seller silver to the vendor and the region market value average is 6.9 while the sale average is 3.9 so on this one you're basically between 7 and 10 timing your gold based on which server you're playing on this one you can buy here or you can also drop from the dead mines so this one is actually cheaper right now on the fresh servings but more expensive on the established ones because on the fresh service people are running dead mines so they get more of these and you also have pirate cage senegal this one once again 38 silver and a vendor for almost 10 times as much and a 1.6 sell rate so what i'm doing here is i'm buying two of every single pet and i'm keeping them on the auction house at all times if one of them sells i will go back and buy another one or basically if i ever run out of either one of the pets i go back and restart stock. I'm only doing two of them because I want to actually see them sell before I go and refeed. So two of each start selling. The second something sells off, go and buy new ones. And you can do this with this vendor right here. And there are several pet vendors all throughout Azeroth that you can use to make as much gold as possible. Once again, this is based on people being lazy and they are literally scanning the ocean house, just going to the pet tab and searching for which pets they don't have. And if they find one they don't have, they just buy the cheapest auction. So you can make a bunch of profit because really this one right here sells for 38 silver but who cares about three gold right so when you go to the ocean house you're looking for a pet you see one for three gold you think like yeah whatever i'll buy this one so yeah take advantage of this it's a really good way to make some really easy gold over time but yeah, that is what I wanted to talk about today, guys. A really easy way to make a gold, both right now in the pre-patch and also in Wrath itself. 
Selling pets can be very lucrative and give you some really easy gold over time, so buy a couple of each, send them to an alt, and keep posting them on the auction house. Either way, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you want more gold making advice, the a link to the gold guide is down below. Join my Discord server or follow me on Twitch. The links are in the description down below. And yeah, I think that is pretty much it. Uh, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more Vassal the Lich King classic gold making content. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Peace out, guys.